What's up guys, my name is Eric aka Azrael Eternity and welcome back to the My Insanity server. This is uh, episode 20 for me now. Uh, and we are going to finally finish the biomes. Um, this is actually going to be an audio commentary that is recorded after the footage was um, because of some audio troubles with Fraps. It decided to uncheck the mark that had record my uh, microphone. So gonna have to record this afterwards and I apologize for all of the uh, witty and intelligent things that I had said during my actual commentary but the whole purpose of this episode is we are going to go to the nether and we're gonna finish the biomes um, so oh and this I remember this uh, the drop farm is working significantly better in 1.4.2, so I was kind of happy about that. I've shown a lot of improvement in the drops. I still haven't had any drops for um, carrots or potatoes, like I'm holding a big potato now. Um, all of this right now is uh, potatoes, and this is all carrots. Um, I ran off and found a village. Um, I can't remember where. Is like north. Let's see. No, southeast, southeast. Yeah, southeast of the village, um, somewhere way off there, uh, southeast of the village, and it was a new chunk, so I was able to find uh, potatoes and carrots. So I grabbed a bunch, took a bunch home, and have subsequently shared them with the rest of the mine sanitians, mine insanity, and whatever you want to call us. Uh, the res rest of the guys on the server and girls. Uh, Brookville. But in the nether we are going to be converting this last chunk into a jungle biome and we're hopefully going to have, well we did have, can't say hopefully now, I'm not recording at the same time, uh, plans for um, a stone sort of transition from the sand, the desert area. Um, and have some trees, have a jungle temple. I had originally planned on it being where I'm looking at now, off to the left-hand side, but I ended up building into the opposite wall. Um, just ended up being that way of where I decided to put everything. Um, pacing back and forth, I know that I'm going to be cutting pretty soon to when I have TNT laid out, um, but I think I'm just talking about the same things I just told you, where we're going to be doing... Uh, trees and this is all the supplies I have a double two double chests full of supplies um, grass dirt light blue wool jungle wood jungle uh, vines and I know I was complaining about the color um, I have no place to put this dirt in those chests it's kind of funny um, I was complaining about the color of the dirt in the nether. Um, if you guys have any any way of figuring that out, like in the settings, uh, like the blending between biomes or whatever it is, um, let me know. And we're going to jump cut right now to... Uh, uh, now we have all of the TNT laid. It's under these blocks that are in this middle pathway. Uh, and then just redstone running along it. The very last one failed to explode. So I actually did that separately, but I'm not going to include that footage here. I, I forgot to put that one little thing. Uh, here, I placed the thing wrong. Alright, fire in the hole. Uh, and then zombie pigments, like, I don't give a fuck. Bam! Like a fucking boss, and he's just sitting there. <laughs> um... But a lot of destruction, had to take out a bunch on both sides, but I had tested it out, and if I had done like two pieces of TNT, it would have completely fucked everything up. And now we have most of our wall and our very base layer of dirt down. Um, the dirt that I'm currently on is going to be the dirt where uh, the jungle entrance sort of thing is, where the transition is. Um, I haven't done... Oh, I was talking about how I'm not going to do the the uh, ceiling really soon, because since I already blew out everything, I don't really have the level to be able to get to it. Um, so the roof is something that, or the ceiling is something that I was planning on doing last. Um, 
this video is a lot of jump cuts because I didn't. It was a lot of repetitive stuff, laying down all the dirt um, and laying down all of the grass as well. Um, it was a lot of repetitive, um, a lot of repetitive action. So I tried not to include very much of it. Um, but there's a lot. Oh, this this one was by far the easiest but the most tiresome because it was not it was a repetitive action it was just over and over doing the same thing um, and we're gonna do a jump cut again to when it's already done and ta-da it's done the grass is spreading I drop down the blue wool farther um, I end up putting a green wool bo border at the bottom um, I need to drop down the game sounds in my headphones <laughs> so that I'm not like going deaf trying to record this audio um, but the grass is spreading um, again I hate the color of it I know that I probably talked about that way too much in this so maybe it's good that it's gone uh, I haven't done the ceiling yet I did that little borderline um, but what I'm planning on doing in this at the time is that I'm gonna have where the trees go up I'm gonna have green wool on the ceiling so it makes it look darker so it looks like it's denser leaves um, and then about this lane uh, is where the uh, biome is gonna end so I'm gonna grab jungle wood and grab some vines grab a bunch of leaves I already filled up my inventory uh. Um, so how are you guys? Uh, today, the, the day that I'm recording this audio is October 31st at about 8.41 p.m., so it's Halloween. Uh, I have had zero trick-or-treaters at, trick at my apartment. Um, we live right next to the wealthy neighborhood, and most kids end up going there instead. So um, I actually called our property manager to find out if we get trick-or-treaters and how many um, so I have a giant bag of 160 pieces or 150 pieces of candy sitting on a shelf waiting to be opened um, waiting to be opened but won't well it will my wife and I will eat it but no trick-or-treaters poor poor trick-or-treaters I got really tired of listening to the the gas and the pigmen here uh, we're gonna place our first tree here. Derp, derp, derp. derp. I don't know why I only did two. I have to say, I got used to how blocks were being oriented in the last one, and frankly, it was it was easy. Excuse me, I'm yawning. I got used to it, and I actually en ended up enjoying like how how simple it was, like how easy it was to manipulate it. Now, no, pain in the ass. Now it's like just a pain to try to get these. I mean, I understand this is how it was originally. Well, actually, it didn't matter originally. Originally, it didn't matter what surface you were touching; it always was facing up. But now, not so much. Um, The trees were the hardest part for this, um, trying to get the trees um, and getting it to look natural. I had a hard pro hard time with that, and a lot of times it just came down to like you know throwing leaves everywhere and having green wool behind it, make it get be really dark and all this and that. Um, I didn't bother doing any screenshots of. Uh, of actual ones because I didn't really I don't know I didn't really put forth as much effort I did a lot of effort into the jungle temple which I'm end up be, I am very proud of um, but didn't do as much as I probably should have with it uh, with the whole thing I mean I don't know. this is a lot of stuff I think we're going to do a jump cut of me doing other stuff. Okay, we've pretty much finished our first tree. Um, 
It was like a couple minutes more beyond what I'd already done, but I didn't care to talk over it. And all these vines all spread out. Ends up looking really cool. Um, oh, I decided that I didn't want the vines there on this side because I didn't want them hanging down on top of the rail line because the rail line was going to have to go right past there. Um, this is me demonstrating. Ta -da -da. It's going to have to go right past there, right along that line, right next to it. Ta -da -da. Uh, but uh, I think we're going to do another jump cut to when this is more completed. So, uh, ta-da! Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be the area that I'm going to be building my jungle temple in. Um, I can't remember the dimensions of it. I do know that it's 12 wide. Um, I don't remember how far I did deep. Um, I did the little jungle entrance transition from the desert until uh, the desert into the jungle. I wish that I could transition into it better. Um, maybe mix up the blocks a little bit so that it's kind of meshes into each other. But I whoop, fell off there. Oh, I was planning on t taking out that row um, and make it a little bit more even in terms of blocks. Um, I've done two big trees so far and a bunch of shrubs on the ground. Um, but this is going to be the jungle temple. And I have... I have loads of mossy stone um, available to be able to do this, and I think about now I'm figuring out that I dug out one too many wide. I actually made it, excuse me, uh, I made it 13 wide. I don't know why I dug out those three blocks. I just needed to dig out the very end, or the very end one. There we go. Um, and then just put down another rack here to remind me that that's not part of it, but I did a lot of, uh, several cuts in this too because I needed to check out my reference material because I wasn't sure exactly, um, what I wanted this look to be, uh, or how, how it's supposed to look exactly. Um, bum bum bum. Oh, I don't have any room for the another rack. Um, I wish that I had two monitors so that if I have projects like this where I'm trying to mimic something or trying to get, you know, do a replica of it, that I can be more exact um, and have two screens, one that's going to have, you know, the game that I'm playing and then the other one that can have my reference material up. Um, but Guy Can Dream, I do currently have... The computer that I have can support it. Um, I just don't have a. Um, what is it that I needed? I think I needed a monitor with an HDMI in. Um, was what I needed. But currently I don't have one unless I really wanted to hook up my TV. I think I might have an HDMI that's big enough or long enough rather to be able to reach to my TV and use that as a second monitor, but I think that would be a pain in the ass. Plus, my wife uses the the computer, the TV a lot. Um, she uses my Xbox like all the freaking time. Kind of bugs me. Because um, I don't get to use my Xbox very often. Like, I've played a little bit of it today. I was playing Modern Warfare 3 for some god-awful reason. I think mostly because it's in the, in the drive. <laughs> um, but... Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oh, I did want that. I thought I was doing that on accident. <laughs> I don't even remember my own builds. But uh, I liked this tem this temple. The jungle temples look really neat. Um, I didn't put as much effort into this as I should have, mostly because I knew it was being built into a wall, and I knew that I wasn't probably going to have the windows or anything on the back end of it, on the back end and the sides. I just had the front window ended up be in there. Um, more checking reference material. But so things that are going on on the server were obviously updated to 1.4.2 like I was saying. Um, 
bats annoy the fuck out of me, especially in creative mode. I wish in creative mode that I could turn off monsters completely, um, but I don't think that that's possible. Um, and plus, I you know, I need villagers and stuff to be able to test out things, and pigs and sheep and all that. But... <sighs> Excuse me. I keep on yelling. I apologize, I'm tired. Um, I got plenty of sleep, but I just didn't... I don't know, I'm just always tired. It sucks. When you get old, you get tired. No, there's no sense in trying to avoid it or anything like that. Um, but what was I even talking about? Wife steals my Xbox. I don't get to play it much. I'm tired. Um, things are going on the server. Um, I am planning on well, I are, I'm planning on doing a lot of things. I'm planning on doing a bunch of um, community builds. Um, I did. I finished my biome, and then I I partial. I started on a sheep farm, and then I worked did the biome um, because I ran into a snag, and then I finished the sheep farm today, um, which was when that I noticed that uh, none of my audio files had any voiceover, which was a pain in the ass. I was really pissed about. Um, so that's why I'm recording the audio now. <laughs> but uh, I finished doing the sheep farm which was a huge pain in the ass because sheep are the most fucking retarded derpiest mobs in existence um, but I got it done there's I'm gonna there's a whole lot, another video that I'm gonna be doing just about it that has audio thank God um, so that I don't have to do here um, I'm so used to doing these, well I'm not even used to it anymore, but I used to be so, it was normal for me to sit down and do commentaries for, you know, 10 minutes maybe, um, when I did Modern Warfare 3, or Modern Warfare videos, you know, did Call of Duty commentaries, but, oh, it's so weird to me now to sit down and talk for such a length of time without something going on that I am directly controlling. Like, I can only imagine, I don't know how I sit through and watch other people my, play Minecraft. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with, like, listening to podcasts and stuff. Like, I'll listen to the Drunk Tank podcast, and I'll listen to the Minecraft podcast, and be doing stuff in-game. Um, I need to take out this wall, I think is what I'm talking about. Um, I figure out pretty soon that I did not make this wide enough, or excuse me, deep enough. The width is right, but it's not quite deep enough. Um, and I'm going to smite some pigmen. And they broke my armor. Uh, they broke my boots, I think. I still haven't broken all of that armor. I still have the chest plate. Um, like, you can see how der derpy and ragged it is, but still have the chest. Chest hasn't broken. I never recycle my armor. I don't know why. But, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to do a jump cut and go a little bit farther forward. Alright? Bye. Alright, so we are at our end. Um, like four minutes left in the video, I think, or five minutes. Um, I've covered the entryway from this end with uh, vines. I'll put some torches down to light the place up. And go over to the other side and figure out that I don't have any vines there. So I want to put vines there. Make it climbable. Um, put a torch there. Um, I think I'm talking about lighting during this, like where I want all the lighting. Um, and I end up deciding on putting it just hanging off the side of the rail tracks and keeping it kind of infrequent instead of trying to hide it. Um, I also made the decision to not do uh, any glowstone in the ceiling or in the floor like I had planned. And uh, there's actually no powered rails for this whole section. 
Um, there's some in the in-between. There ends up being some in the in-between, like the little transition, but... Um, not really. You know, there's not a lot. Um, and then there's just the one at the, the start, but the one at the start has, you know, like, ten... Like, five or ten, you know, pieces of powered rail, so... It flings you pretty far, and it does a good job. Um, the only thing that sucks is if there's like something on the track, like there's the powered rails, you know, they do a good job. Um, if there's something on the track, which in this section I don't predict there will be, I haven't had any problems with this section in particular yet, um, it should be fine, I'm not going to put any like glass panes or anything. Um, so doing some final decorating inside, getting rid of some of the vines, um, which now it looks like after the fact, like after I've done all this, um, it looks stellar, and I really am, am happy with it, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm very happy that the biome project is done and over with, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Because it was a pain to build, but well worth the effort, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I wish I had been able to do this, um, and I hate to take out those vines because they're bugging me. Um, I wish I had been able to do this before the update where silt touched ice um, and ice turning into water in the nether. I wish I could have gotten part of that um, so that I could have had the running water um, and the leaves that are inset are bugging me, so I end up putting more there. Um, there's a lot of things that I wish I could have done before the updates and everything, and obviously we can't you know, roll back the server to make it so that I can because um, that would just cause problems and we already have enough issues as it is with this server so I don't want to cause more um, yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know that it kind of sucks not doing the live commentary or yeah not doing the live commentary having to do recorded you know, commentary after the fact. Trust me, I really do not enjoy it, but this was kind of a big deal, so I didn't want to just, you know, like, skip over it like I did with the uh, rail line that goes to the Blaze Farm. Um, that one was kind of important, but not quite as important as, like, one of this, this huge project that I've been working on for forever on the server. Um, but this last section, I think, is what I'm talking about of the thing of the uh, mine is going to be an entryway of sorts um, for my next big project which is going to take probably several months um, but I'm kind of keeping quiet um, it's going to take a while to do um, but it's going to be really cool when it's when I start on it but I wanted to get community projects done first, so I had done this. I had done this as a personal project, and then I'm going to start doing um, a couple of community projects. Like I'm going to, I built the wool farm. I'm going to build, um, going to build another farm uh, or a cocoa bean farm. So, uh, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.